to me the point that God's nonpartisan. <laughs> well, joining us this morning, we talk with Rabbi David Saperstein of the Religious Action Center of Reform Judaism. He's going to be giving the invitation on Thursday at what's expected to be a massive rally. I mean, massive meaning 75,000 people plus that's outdoors at Denver's Invesco Field. Nice to see you, Rabbi. Thanks for talking with us. Uh, give me a sense of, um, first, are you nervous? You're delivering an invocation. You're the kickoff to the, to the big speech. It's a lot of people outdoors. What's your message going to be? Uh, give me the sense of the significance of what you're trying to say. Well, first, far more honored than, uh, than nervous, Soledad. Uh, secondly, uh, the custom of giving invocations at extraordinary public events of all kinds, including the conventions of both parties, is a long tradition. And clearly asking for God's guidance to those who are chosen to be the leaders of this party and chosen to be the leaders of our country and raising up um, the moral issues that our country faces in keeping with a long prophetic tradition of the Abrahamic face, those would be the centerpiece of my remarks. Senator Obama's position on Israel has been fairly mainstream, but there are people who say, but you look at Reverend Wright and that whole controversy, that messy controversy, and they ask the question, does, does Barack Obama have a problem with Jewish voters? Do you think he does? He clearly, it clearly has been a challenge for him. Uh, no one who's known him even back at the time he went to school or his early work in Chicago has ever heard him say anything about Israel or Jews other than very positive things. So that seems to be deeply rooted with him. And of course, the selection of Joe Biden, who is regarded as one of the great pro-Israel senators of this generation of the United States uh, Senate, I think solidifies a message when, uh, of, of uh, pro-Israel stance for the campaign. When uh, uh, Senator Obama spoke at the APAC uh, convention, he got an extraordinarily positive uh, response from uh, people there. So I think that this is something, and APAC has said that both uh, Senator McCain and Senator Obama have strong pro-Israel uh, records. I think in the end, this will be uh, neutralized as in as an issue, and uh, the candidates are seen as uh, having strong pro-Israel uh, credentials. Do you think Reverend Wright and that whole flack has also been neutralized as an issue? Well, uh, you know, both uh, both of the candidates have had to deal with uh, statements by. Uh, ministers who have been uh, either supported them uh, or endorsed them for the uh, presidency that were deeply problematic and had to distance himself uh, from the uh, from those statements and from the uh, the ministers so uh, you know it's it's hard to know if nothing else comes up i presume that uh, both of the campaigns will have uh, moved past the flax around the ministers surrounding them Final question for you. What, what do you hope to see come out of this convention? By, by Thursday evening, you'd like to say what? That America comes to grips with the fundamental uh, social justice moral challenges that our religious traditions have said have been at the core of what we're about, the protection of God's creation, the care for the poor, the widow and the orphan and the weak and the vulnerable, um, a sense of responsibility to freedom of all human beings in supporting freedom uh, across the uh, globe, speaking out against genocide wherever we see it, from Darfur to uh, cultural genocide in Tibet and uh, elsewhere. Um, these are the issues that I hope there will be solidarity between both parties. These ought not to be politically divisive issues, but issues that unite the country and it's a determination to, the, to do the right and moral thing. Rabbi David Saperstein joining us this morning. Thanks for talking with us. We certainly appreciate it. That's it for me. I'm Soledad O'Brien at the CNN Election Center in New York, or I should say that's it for me for about the next 15 minutes. We're going to continue our nonstop coverage of the convention. Back to CNN Newsroom, though, for a few minutes after these messages.